Welcome to the Garcia Street Urban Farm. This is a new four acre site that is a partnership between Alamo Colleges and the San Antonio Housing Authority. My name is Torin Metz. Hey, I'm Cecile Parrish. Um, I help with the veggie production and focus on our cut flower production. Part of our site includes an orchard which we're developing to be resilient. And so we're working to redesign the existing area where our fruit trees are, which is gonna include alley crafting systems. We are on Blackland Prairie soil, which is a unique soil type in Texas. Houstonian black clay is the soil type, and it moves through like kind of a, a wide swath swing through the state of Texas. And what's kind of ecosystem indicative of this soil type is a prairie oak savanna. And so we want to move the space towards being something that educationally, visually, shows what the Blackland Prairie Oak Savannah ecosystem is supposed to look and function like. People in cities don't have access to natural spaces. Uh, it's really few and far between. And so we want to bring what this space would have looked like before it was so developed in so that right outside your doorstep you can see an example of what this ecoregion is supposed to look like in the middle of a city. So, we utilize alley cropping. We have these longer alleyways in the design. We've got a couple of Dorset apples. We planted a couple olives. These Japanese Fuyu persimmons, these, these did really well. We have a few native oaks that we put in, and we have native mesquite. We have a, a contour analysis of this space. You can almost see a little bit of a contour right there, and so, water moves through going this way. So if we can get to that kind of point, that would be a key line basically. They have a, a good amount of space in between the trees if we kind of look at this lay of the land. So we're trying to use these diagonal lanes we have throughout our orchard to produce herbs and flowers, marigolds. The San Antonio region, especially Bear County, has been indigenously uh, through now acknowledged as a land of confluence. It's where a lot of waters cross and come through and it's where a lot of soil types and ecosystems meet. San Antonio Bear County area represents five different major ecosystems and one of them to our southwestern border is what's called the Tomalipan Mesquital and it stretches through South Texas and dips into northern Mexico and is an eco-region. And it's very dominated by this native mesquite tree. Farmers in central Texas have long used these trees because they are leguminous. They called them farmer's trees. And people would plant fruit trees very close to established mesquites in the hopes that they would create kind of a symbiotic like nitrogen share. If you drive through kind of the Texas Hill Country or through some of these regions, you can see really old mesquites with a big fruit tree next to them and it's it's indicative of that happening so we really like to keep these in our soil they are just a definition of a native space a lot of ranchers would hate that i am giving mesquite such a platform um, it's it's quite a pest of a plant for a lot of people managing because it can really take over and make a really dense brush but when it's managed in a space where you have it interspersed and you can move through the space. A lot of wildlife really depends on this. It's critical for pollinators, really major pollen source and nectar source. And then we have these birds, native birds, called loggerhead shrikes. And we, everywhere that we have some mesquite, we see them come through. And what they do is they will catch their prey um, and impale them on these thorns, let them kind of desiccate and come back and eat them. So we've come through and seen like geckos and grasshoppers impaled on these and we know that the loggerheads are near. So, And then we are creating habitat and persistent habitat for beneficial insects that help manage our overall health. So I want to make sure that there is consistent blooming. We are in such a developed part of the city and one of the things that we have struggled with is kind of extremes in pest pressures and it just is so clearly indicative of a lack of uh, biodiverse insect habitat. I have been really impressed how just 
having some introductions of flowers and native bloom cycles, we have started to see just incredible insect diversity that I don't normally see elsewhere in the city. So if that little effort can create that big of an impact, I'm really excited to see what we can do habitat-wise as we keep developing.